Welcome to the Facts Channel. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss, telecommunications and how information travels around the world. In this video, we'll take a deep dive into the fascinating world of global communication networks. Before we delve into how information travels around the world, let's first understand the basics of telecommunications. Telecommunications refers to the transmission and reception of signals, images, and messages over long distances. These transmissions can include various forms of communication, such as voice, video, and data. At the heart of global telecommunications lies a vast network of interconnected systems, including satellites, undersea cables, and land-based infrastructure. Together, these components form the backbone of our modern communication systems. So, how does information actually travel around the world? Well, let's start with the role of satellites. Satellites play a crucial role in global communication by relaying signals between different points on Earth. These satellites are placed in geostationary orbits, approximately 22,000 miles above the Earth's equator. When you make a phone call or send data, the signal is transmitted from your device to a local base station. From there, it is sent to a satellite dish, which then beams the signal up to the nearest communication satellite. Once the signal reaches the satellite, it is amplified and retransmitted back to Earth, targeting the desired destination. This could be another satellite, a ground-based station, or directly to another user. When the signal reaches the recipient's location, it follows a similar path in reverse. It is received by a satellite dish or ground-based station, processed, and sent to the intended recipient. This entire process happens in a matter of milliseconds, allowing for real-time communication across vast distances. Now, let's talk about another critical component of global telecommunications, undersea cables. Undersea cables are like information highways that span the ocean floor, connecting continents and facilitating the transfer of massive amounts of data. These cables consist of fiber optic strands, which are incredibly thin threads of glass capable of transmitting data using pulses of light. They are laid on the ocean floor, often over thousands of miles, and are protected by durable sheaths to withstand the harsh marine environment. When you send an email, stream a video, or browse the internet, your data is converted into light pulses and transmitted through these undersea cables. The data travels at incredible speeds, allowing for high bandwidth communication between countries and continents. It's important to note that multiple undersea cables exist to ensure redundancy and reliability. In case one cable is damaged or experiences a disruption, the traffic can be rerouted through alternate cables, minimizing downtime and ensuring seamless communication. In addition to satellites and undersea cables, terrestrial infrastructure plays a crucial role in global communication networks.
This includes a vast network of fiber optic cables, microwave towers, and cellular base stations. Fiber optic cables, similar to the ones used in undersea cables, are deployed on land to connect cities, towns, and rural areas. These cables provide high-speed data transmission capabilities and form the backbone of many internet service providers and telecommunication companies. Microwave towers, on the other hand, use high-frequency radio waves to transmit signals over short distances. They are often used for point-to-point -point communication and can be found in remote areas where it may be challenging to lay fiber-optic cables. Lastly, cellular base stations play a crucial role in mobile telecommunications. They provide coverage for mobile devices, allowing users to make calls, send messages, and access the Internet on the go. These base stations are connected to the wider telecommunications infrastructure, ensuring seamless connectivity across the globe. When it comes to telecommunications, one key aspect to consider is the concept of routing. Routing refers to the process of directing data packets from their source to their destination through the most efficient and reliable path available. To understand routing, let's take a closer look at the Internet, which serves as the backbone of modern communication. The Internet is a vast network of interconnected devices, ranging from servers and routers to personal computers and mobile devices. When you send data over the Internet, it is divided into smaller units called packets. Each packet contains a portion of your data, along with addressing information. These packets are then routed through a series of intermediate devices, such as routers, to reach their intended destination. Routers are specialized devices that examine the addressing information in each packet and determine the most efficient path for forwarding it. They make decisions based on factors such as network congestion, available bandwidth, and the shortest path to the destination. As the packets travel from one router to another, they traverse a complex network of interconnected infrastructure, including fiber optic cables, microwave links, and satellite connections. Each router along the way plays a crucial role in ensuring that the packets reach their destination reliably and in the shortest time possible. It's important to note that routing is not a static process. Network conditions and traffic patterns can change dynamically, leading to adjustments in the routing paths. This flexibility allows for efficient utilization of the available resources and helps in maintaining a robust and responsive global communication network. Another critical aspect of information traveling around the world is data encryption and security. With the vast amount of sensitive data being transmitted, it is essential to protect it from unauthorized access and interception. Encryption is the process of converting data into a coded form that can only be deciphered using a specific key. 
When you send data over the internet, it is encrypted to ensure that even if intercepted, it remains unreadable to unauthorized individuals. Secure communication protocols, such as Transport Layer Security TLS, are widely used to establish secure connections between devices. These protocols enable encryption and provide mechanisms for authentication and data integrity, ensuring that the transmitted information remains private and tamper-proof. With the increasing reliance on cloud computing and data centers, the role of data centers in telecommunications cannot be overlooked. Data centers house vast amounts of computing power and storage, serving as the backbone for many online services and applications. When you access a website or use an online service, your request often goes through multiple data centers before reaching the destination. These data centers host the necessary infrastructure to process and store the data, ensuring a seamless user experience regardless of geographical distance. The journey of information around the world involves routing packets through a complex network of interconnected infrastructure, utilizing technologies such as routers, fiber optic cables, and satellite connections. Data encryption and secure communication protocols play a crucial role in protecting the transmitted information, and data centers serve as the backbone for hosting and processing online services. We hope this deeper dive into the intricacies of global telecommunications has provided you with a better understanding of how information travels across the globe. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might find it interesting. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.